KFC 32 here at the Carib Royale. Look at this fancy place. We're here in Orlando, Florida with the man, the animal himself, Travis Thompson, who's making his return after a long layoff. It's been almost it's been a it's year. Been a year it's been a, a full year today since we last seen him in the ring. What took you so long to get back in there and how excited are you to get back in there, especially against a guy like David Diaz? I'm excited to be back in the ring. Uh, I don't know what the holdup was. I guess that it was on them. They wanted to get other faces involved and they realize they need the animal. They need the animal. An OG in the sport, an OG with the BKFC, you and Reggie, Reggie Barnett been there since day one. Um, training for this one, you look like you're in phenomenal shape. You you have composure on the stage yesterday with David Diaz, David Diaz. And, um, you know, have you done anything different heading into this one? I saw that you, had, you posted a video with Keith Thurman, you're training with him again. Uh, talk a little bit about the preparation for this one. I so said the preparation is pretty simple. I just uh, gave myself a camp this time, uh, which when I have a camp, I'm undefeated. When I have a camp, I have time to stay away from my landscape company, from all the other stuff in, in life. You know, I got to come from Philadelphia to Florida to train to work my ass off every single day, no days off. Uh, so that's all it is. It's nothing but work. That's all I'm here to do. I'm here to get them the fuck out of there as soon as I want to. It might be quick. It might be fast. You know, it might be quick. It might take the whole time. It's all what I want to fucking do. So we'll see what happens. That leads me to my question with with your opponent, David Diaz. He's kind of a wild man in the ring. He, you know, he's more of a brawler than a, than a technique guy. Does anything about his game impress you at all heading not into this all. fight? Not at all. Nothing. Nothing surprises me. Nothing impresses me. I know what I have to do. I have experience on my side. I've been, shit, I've had over 30 professional fights. And in my opinion, you're not a professional until you fought a professional. He has not fought a professional yet. All of his fights were against debuters. He made his debut in bare knuckle. So it's his test. It's his time to lose. It's absolutely the hardest test of his career to absolutely. date. Now this will be your ninth fight. You win this one, you'll have five victories, and I know that you're always down to fight. You just came off this long layoff, but if you come out, come out here tonight, you win in emphatic fashion. Are you trying to get right back in there as soon as possible, or you got to see what life is dealing you at the time? First of all, it's not if I win, I'm going to win, but I don't like to think about that shit. I think about what's at hand right now. You don't look past your opponent. I'm not looking past David, okay? It is what it is. The fight's going on tonight. I may get my victory. I have to focus on that. After that, whenever the fuck they want me back, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't give a shit. I'll go do some of those the ones that you're talking about. I'll go fight in a suit. I don't give a shit. John Nutt, Travis Thompson. I'm introducing you right now to this man. I don't know if you've met him, but he's willing to fight in a living room. He's he's one of the best dressed fighters got, on the BKFC. I should have worn my suit. Right, right. I got two of them in my room. There you go. He could slap on a suit, he could do some uh, gentleman's MMA, whatever you need, this guy's ready to fight at all times. You got any uh, final predictions? I don't know if you're a predictions kind of guy, but is it going past a round, two rounds, you dragging him to deep waters? I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. So it all depends on what happens when we tell the line. Uh, I'm going to just have fun. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. There's nothing he's going to do that's going to fucking take me out of my element. This is my game. I'm the animal for a reason. It's because it's my fucking ring. I will do whatever the fuck I want, and no one's going to stop me. He has no chance of stopping me of doing anything I want to do. I can't wait till this fight fucking happens. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might play with him and fuck around the entire time, or I might just put him the fuck down right away. We'll see what happens. Absolutely the people's main event tonight. Fight of the night candidate, fight of the year candidate, maybe no, fight of the fight of forever be, candidate. No, it's not going to be fight of the night, fight of the year. It's none of that shit. It's going to be knock out of the night or fucking, man, that guy can fucking box his balls off. <laughs> That's all it's going to be. There it is. The animal Travis Thompson finally back in there after a the long layoff. We're looking forward to his fight tonight at BKFC 32. Thanks, a lot. Thanks brother. Appreciate you guys. Tune in. Watch it tonight.